SoCal uh, last week, and we got to hang out a whole bunch. So, yep, here we go. Let's get right. started. So let's talk as we're getting started here a little bit about the Peach versus Captain Falcon matchup. What are we expecting here? Uh, we're expecting Falcon to want to throw Peach a lot. Like it, Falcon kind of makes it so that Peach is a little bit unsafe in the air because uh, Falcon's up air actually beats a lot of Peach's aerials uh, out of float. Unless, so you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of low air. Oh my gosh, that was a great conversion. You're gonna see a lot of no, uh, low float aerials from from MACD, I believe, um, and just a little bit of. Uh, trivia here, MACD is wearing the Snowy tag. Now, Snowy Bro is like a huge uh, stream monster. He follows uh, me, MACD, and a whole bunch of other SoCal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Players. Wow, Vish. Vish is exploding right now. Um, very confident. Different from his usual play, actually when he was in SoCal. Another knee. Wow, goes up two stocks really fast. I feel like you mentioned that uh, MACD wanted to be doing lots of low float aerials, but he's been jumping a lot higher. Ooh, almost gets a shield broken too. That's he's been, super dangerous. And he's been getting punished for it. Look at him. He's, he's down two stocks already. Um, I feel like MACD's getting too antsy right now, and Vish is actually playing very patiently. I hope MACD turns it around, um, or else this is going to be a, a quick set. Stuff. Good. Oh, from deep. He pulls out another Saturn. Now, Saturn, when he gets thrown uh, at a shield, he eats it up. So, if he gets maybe if he gets thrown at a shield once or twice, uh, your shield's gonna be broken, and Mechdy would get a free punish there. Uh, so, you, it, Mr. Saturn's pretty scary in his own right. Even though when he hits someone not blocking, uh, it doesn't seem like he's doing much, but it's actually really scary to block against that. Good, sh solid shield pressure, shield poke there. Ooh. Mackie doesn't quite get the spacing off, and he gets upbeat by Vish. Vish just up airing through turnips. Reckless, but it works. Mackie got a little bit too confident in his turnip game there. And as you said, that up air, super important. He, for Falcon. They, can I just say, Vish is spacing his nares beautifully. He's not he's not getting close enough to let Mackie, um down smash, crash cancel down smash it. Wow, MACD with another great turnip toss. Catches him on his recovery. Brings it back a little bit closer here. Now, at this point, ooh. grab, jab, up air into knee. I, right now. A smaller stage, that would have been a death. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, uh, if MACD is looking to come back, he's going to really need to calculate his uh, throwing out his moves a little bit more. Wow. You know, like. Ever since Ganondorf started doing that on the regs, like <laughs> I've seen that like Captain Falcon players sometimes do that too. From just from the edge, like it's so unexpected because you're as when you're playing against Captain Falcon, you're just running towards him, and all of a sudden he throws out a Falcon kick and it sends him like in such an awkward direction. The way like cause you're never ready for that DI. Ooh. Fish. Oh, what a great nair by MACD, canceling out Fish's up air. All right. So MACD goes down two stocks early, claws his way back, but still can't quite put it together and gives up a JV two stock at the end. I, right there, I mean, like, Vish has had such a lead. All he had to do was really just hold it there <laughs> for the whole time because once Vish is ahead, he can, he can dash dance cap. Uh, beach. Ooh. And uh, when Captain Falcon dash dance camps Peach, and Peach has to approach. He has a, he has a huge advantage because every grab he gets, it's gonna it's gonna uh, convert to a lot of damage. What a great upbeat to ledge cancel right there. So MACD picks Fountain uh, because he actually he loves down smashing on platforms. So no kidding. <laughs> so when he gets when anyone gets caught under him and you know gets you know gets the urge to jump up to him on a platform, you're probably going to eat a down smash and, like, it's as if you're crouch canceling, so you're taking, like, 40 to 50 damage. 
The changing levels of the platforms on the stage also uh, interfere with Falcon's aerial game, right? Absolutely. Uh, because some of the platforms are super low, uh, if Falcon wants to do a short hop aerial, he'll uh, sometimes actually land on the platform and uh, his aerial won't come out. So it's this stage. Ooh. Oh, he got a little too hungry there. Good tech. Uh oh. Beam sword. Wow. Just raw grab coming from the cloud. Oh, just like you said, God. down smash on platforms. If Vish doesn't throw out too many down airs or nairs on the lower platforms, and if he sticks to like low up airs, those will come out really fast. Uh, so those are in good shape. If he if he throws out a knee, sometimes it won't come out. Uh, so that was good full hop there. Waited for MACD's down smash because he knows he knows MACD wants to do it. I don't know if Vish can really trade at the moment. Oh, went in a little too preemptively. I hope he doesn't get too comfortable because he's like hitting a lot of those space snares. Um, that, that he's like, oh, I'll just run in now. Like that, I, think, I feel like he's gotten caught by that at least uh, two times now this match. Um, even though he wasn't getting caught with it at all last game. Oh, oh tech chase! Oh my gosh, that was like one of those. Oh, oh the knee. Oh, oh two soft knees. Not gonna be enough. Vish, Vish is <laughs> trying to. Trying to end somebody's career right here. <laughs> oh, what a good! I still call, I call that the oh my god, a double drop zone. Like I call it the drop zone fair because like when when Falcon does the down throw fair or down throw needs drops like Peach's drop zone is just as devastating. Uh, and I love that he went for it because <laughs> Peach usually doesn't do too many like off stage stuff. Just in general. No, I mean, against the space animals, she's going to float down below the stage when they're doing their recovery and pick them off with those same fares, but I don't see that happen a lot against Captain Falcon. Okay, so we're back to a more wide open stage here. Also with some stage transformations. Do the transformations benefit Captain Falcon more, or do they benefit Peach more here? Quite honestly, I feel like they might benefit Peach more. Um, just because some of the transformations cut the stage into uh, good down throw knee, uh, cut the stage into smaller sections, uh, which kind of limit Captain Falcon's space for movement. So again, like you said before, it's good that uh, he has a lot of space to work with. Now, if MACD wins this wins this match. Uh, he will be in a much better position in terms of counter picks uh, because if then Vish wins the next one, uh, MACD can easily go to uh, Yoshi's. Somewhere confined and uh, kind of difficult for Captain Falcon to maneuver. Uh, so he's already used one of his small stages, he's used uh, Fountain. So unless if Vish wins, he still has, he still has uh, FD. So. When we're doing best of fives, we're not going to have any stage bans? No stage bans in best of fives. You just can't go back to the stages you've previously won. Right. Oof. Fish is looking really confident, really strong. Red Looking and butter. Down knee. Classic Captain Falcon. But I wouldn't call MACD out just yet. He's actually very composed when he plays um, and I've seen him come back from a lot worse MACD waits for the dodge great edge guard there uh, pretty much covers the whole edge Falcon really has to e either go on, go on the stage with his up B he's a very limited recovery uh, or go for the ledge and that nair covered pretty much everything oh my god Vish moving so smooth right now MACD still kind of trying to all in his his uh, down smashes. Vish needs to probably stop jabbing MACD so much. As you can see, now it's one stock apiece. Even though MACD said, "Oh no, well I spoke Ooh, too soon." The raw That's knee. The commentator's curse. <laughs> I, was, I was like, MACD's coming back. He's calling his way back. But man, that was. Whew. 
that was pretty reckless. Yeah, I want to say. But I mean, he Vish did have invincibility coming down there, but they were in the middle of the stage. Why not throw it out and see if back D lets it happen? Just All right, FD. Oh, it's interesting that MACD would pick the stage uh, as opposed to a smaller stage. Uh, I think... Is he feeling confident in the neutral? I feel like MACD is like, giving up some of his comfortable uh, surroundings. Although on this stage, it's much easier to, I guess, tech chase Falcon on. Ooh. Working out so far for him. He's looking very comfortable uh, maneuvering. Maybe he realizes he was kind of using uh, platforms as a crutch. Now that he's forced to play without it, he's I feel like he might try to play a little bit more neutral game as opposed to spamming moves, as he often does on platforms. Good wait by Vish there. Really patient with his back airs. He's spacing them well. Oh! MACD, great DI. He might be out of that percent where he can get the easy down down throw from knee. Wow, what's going on? What was he trying to dash attack? I, I, yeah, I don't know what that was. That, he's he's that tilted three times. What the heck? <laughs> Good float. Oh. Opting to up B there and throwing that mix up in, but so had a good fade back to get away. Oh, fading, fading back. He DIs that way and catches an air. Oh, throws out the knee. Fish really likes those raw knees, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and Matt, he's like he's double jumping a lot. Maybe MACD is conditioning him at this point, um, because MACD throws out the down smash. If Fish double jumps. He will go right over it and be able to have like a pretty meaty punish if he gets it. Um, but at this point, I think MACD's caught on a little bit more. Ooh. Fast Nair. <laughs> he sees those openings, Just he goes for them. Throws it out there. You know, if, it if it's working, it's yeah. working. Who am I to say? Any different. Right, ooh, right now, MACD can, can afford to trade for at least two more stocks. Um, he obviously doesn't want to get grabbed, but right now he just puts on, tax on nickel and diming all these percents onto Falcon. Um, he has now has a fresh stock. I think he, he just keeps going for trades. I mean, there's no reason not to at this point. Up through, down through. Oh, he went for a tech chase. He told me, actually, this weekend that he was going to try to do more down throw tech chases with Peach. Uh, as opposed to going for the easy, like... <gasps> Ooh, and the double knee, and it is one stock apiece. Wow. This is still very... This is very possible for Vish right now. I... Here I am. Didn't think... Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. MACD has no jump. Oh, my oh. gosh! Holy moly! Fish goes off. Oh, Mac D just DI's in for all of that. And Vish just says, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. The Keep going. Keep the going. The secret boss of the north uh, northwest. We're in their hood, said, man. What's what's up? We're in the hood. What's up, SoCal?